Okay, it's Super Bowl Sunday. It's two hours before the game. I've been on Facebook all day. Okay, I'm about to get my tattoo. Hi. <laughs> Things first, I have to shave your arm. Do I turn my head and cough? Getting shaved. Okay, I'm here with Jackie at Fantasy Tattoo. Come see her and she'll take care of you. <laughs> hey, how we doing back there? Can you quit moving around so much? I'll try. Hey, are you almost done yet? What's taking so long? How about you shut the hell up and let me finish? Okay, we're about halfway done. What do you think so far? How are we looking? A lot of people laughed at Ben Franklin when he this went out with the This is nothing like Ben Franklin <laughs> <laughs> yes, at is. all. So you ready to take another Vine video, we can't Jackie? stop every five minutes to take a Vine video. Why not? Can we please make another Vine video? No, I'm kind of tired of it. Whatever. You better fucking hope this goddamn team wins, I swear to God. <laughs> they better win. <laughs> Please! Okay, I'm ready for my tramp stamp. Okay, bend over. I'm in no hurry, just take your time. Well, I gotta get the fuck home, so... Hey, I wish you could have done my tattoo, not Jackie. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jackie, this has definitely been an interesting day. You're such a hoot. <laughs> Bye, Jackie. You're stuck with that guy. I don't care. That dude's cool as shit. <laughs> now that we're all done, I decided I changed my mind. <laughs> uh oh. Can I put my shirt back on now? Please do. I need to get out of here. Jackie's a pain in my butt. Alright, bye Jackie. Alright everybody, he's finally fucking gone. <laughs> Man, Jackie probably thinks I'm a total asshole. She's probably in there laughing at me right now. Hi Jackie. Yeah, 911. I heard some gunshots. Yeah, can you hold for a second? Yeah, I wanted pepperoni, black olives. <laughs> A local man describes himself as a die-hard Seahawks fan, and when you see what he's done, we think you'll be a believer. So his first tattoo of the team's logo was about 10 years ago when the Seahawks first went to the Super Bowl. This year, the man from Lawrence Park, known as OC, has already inked the Super Bowl win for Seattle. Yeah, I had a basic logo. OC says it was Seattle's performance toward the end of this NFL season. They gave him the green light to make an addition to his Seahawks tattoo. Once they performed really well in that game, I decided, hey, let me let me do this tattoo. Let me do something no one's ever done. Let me show the Seahawks that the 12s uh, fans have their back. So on Christmas Eve for $300. I got both Lombardi trophies uh, just together. OC worked with an artist on his extended tattoo to include Roman numerals for Seattle's 2014 Super Bowl win and the win he's betting they'll bank in back-to-back -back years. 
OZ says he likes to take risks. I mean, anybody can get a tattoo after the fact, but uh, I wanted to show them that we were confident that we, we were, they had the ability to go ahead and win the championship again. And what if Seattle does lose? <laughs> well, I don't want to think about losing because uh, losing is for losers. OC says he's lived in Jacksonville the past 20 years, but he's originally from Seattle. He's been a Seahawks fan his whole life. He got the tattoo for fun and is ready to live with the consequences if his Seahawks lose Super Bowl Sunday. Hi, my name is OC. I'm the guy that got the Seahawks back-to-back -back tattoo. I'd like to welcome everybody to this press conference that I'm holding at my house. First of all, I'd like to tell the Patriots that they played one heck of a game. You had me worried for a little bit, but in the end, the better team prevailed. Over the last couple weeks, we've heard about Tom Brady's balls. We've heard about how he touches his balls, how he rubs his balls, and how he gets his balls ready. We've talked about his balls so much, I feel like we were getting slapped in the face with his balls. I'm glad that Coach Belichick didn't know anything about Tom's balls because he had other responsibilities, like watching film of the Seahawks and playing with stuffed monkeys. I think it's strange how people put their hand up behind in a stuffed animal. The only exception that I think is funny is Jeff Dunham and the guy that stuffs his hand up Kermit's behind. Kermit is probably my favorite Muppet. Even though his girlfriend is a pig, every morning he gets to eat bacon. And bacon is delicious. It has been documented, especially in Jim Gaffigan's comedy act. I'm not here to gloat or anything like that, but for one reason only. I predicted the Seahawks would be back-to-back -back champions with my tattoo that I got on December 24th at Fantasy Tattoo in Orange Park, Florida. At that time, I didn't know who they'd be playing, but I'm glad it was the Patriots because the Patriots were clearly, uh, clearly the class team of the AFC this year. Tom Brady has always been classy and I respect him for that. And if the Patriots would have won, then I would have had his number tattooed on my arm along with the back-to-back -back champions. Throughout the process of the last couple weeks, there have been a lot of talk on Twitter and Facebook from Patriot fans and non-believers. The Patriots blew out the Colts at home so everybody assumed that they were just going to come to Arizona and roll over the Seahawks. One of the reasons that I got my tattoo was because I knew that the Seahawks, all they had to do was beat the Rams at home, then they'd have home field throughout, uh, advantage throughout the playoffs, and then they'd be playing in the Super Bowl in a stadium which they were very familiar with, which they had just previously played in a uh, few weeks prior. And I don't want to hear from Packer fans that I thought they should have won that game. I mean, the game is played for 60 minutes, or maybe more if there's overtime, not 55 minutes. And if you should have won the game, then you would have won the game. And Cowboy fans, don't tell everybody that if that was ruled a catch, that you would have come to Seattle and beat the Seahawks at home in the NFC Championship game. Those are all hypothetical situations, not reality. The reality is that the Cowboys beat the Seahawks in the regular season, and the Seahawks beat the Packers in the regular season and in the postseason when it mattered. But let's talk about the real reason I'm here. I was bold enough to have confidence in my team to win the Super Bowl this year. So I went ahead and got the tattoo. And you will notice in new pictures that I take on Monday that I will have another addition to my tattoo based on the comments that were given to me over the last couple weeks. I heard so many things like, you're an idiot, you jinxed us, that's the worst tattoo in the whole world. That is one stupid guy. And many, many other things that were just mean-spirited. I mean, I understand that I put myself out there. Yes, that's true. But if you were so confident in your team to win, then you may have gotten a tattoo of your team winning the championship too. Now I know there was a Lions fan, a Bills fan, and a Cowboys fan that all got the 2015 Champions tattoo, and they fell short as well as a fellow Seahawks fan that did it last year and was correct. At the time I got mine, I didn't know that the others had gotten theirs until I found them online after I did mine. But all those guys who did that were just seeking attention. They weren't putting any thought behind it because if they would have watched NFL games, then they would have known that those teams 
weren't going to be able to make it this year. Now, I don't know everything about X's and O's, and that's why I'll just stick with tic-tac-toe on that. But I do watch a lot of football. I've had direct TV for several years, although I do look and act like the Rob Lowe that has cable. I just don't watch my team. I watch just about all the teams, mainly the good teams to see who the competition is. And the Jaguars, because I live in Jacksonville. I just don't have blinders on. I usually make an educated risk regarding something like putting a tattoo on my body declaring my team as the champions. And no, I'm not going to put the Jaguars of Super Bowl 50 champs on my other arm. Well, since I did nothing wrong by getting the tattoo and showing my passion for the Seahawks, I would like a personal apology from every Patriots fan and every hater that was saying bad things about me. My decision to get a tattoo and just about everything, everybody else that thought the Seahawks were going to lose. You can send all your apologies to at OC as you jazz. As a Seahawks fan over the prior 30 years, I've had to endure losing seasons. While the city of Boston has had champions with the Red Sox, the Patriots, the Bruins, and the Celtics. And all that time, a lot of the fans in the Boston area have been very arrogant regarding their championships. Trust me, I'm a truck driver and I have delivered loads up in that area and heard tremendous amount of smack talk from Patriots fans, even unprovoked. So now when another team does well, you get mad at us for having confidence in our team and it just makes me feel like you're kind of a poor sport. Be classy and give props to the Seahawks who just beat you and apologize for your negative comments towards me, my tattoo, and my artist. Now I know that Boston is a great city. There's a lot of educated people that live in Boston and I'm not ripping the entire city. Some of my favorite friends that are on Facebook live in that area and are Patriot fans. I will be friends with them forever and I'm just talking to people that were negative towards me. A good friend of mine, Taylor, told me the haters are going to hate, hate, hate. And I'm just going to shake, shake, shake. Shake it off. Or I've heard that somewhere. Call me, Taylor. In closing, I just want to thank the Seahawks for a great season and the Patriots for an epic battle and for winning the game not only for me, but the whole entire city of Seattle. All the fans that call themselves the 12, whether you're an old timer or a new fan, and any other fans that just didn't want the Patriots to win. I gave my left arm for you. But I do not expect anything else from you in return. The next goal for you as a team is to three-peat. But let's enjoy this one and take it one Super Bowl at a time. I don't want to go ahead and get ahead of myself. Thank you. I will see you in Seattle for the victory parade. And here's one last look at my back-to-back -back champions tattoo. My prediction was 23 to nothing, so we'll see what happens. Everybody have a good day, and we'll see you on Monday. The biggest football game of the year. Happening on Sunday. Patriots. Seahawks. Can the Seahawks repeat? There's one guy who knows they will repeat. He's already got the outcome tattooed on himself. Mentioned this yesterday morning. You can see the pictures at twodorks.com. OC is on the phone with us. Hey, Good fellas. How's it going? I'm good, guys. Thanks for having me on your show. Thanks for talking to us. OC is down. Are you in Jacksonville, Florida right now, or are you some other part of the country? Uh, well, I live in Jacksonville, but uh, since I'm a truck driver, I'm, I'm actually heading home. Uh, I had to pick up a load in Atlanta last night, so oh, I'm uh, pretty close to Valdosta right now. Uh, we've already mentioned that you have back-to-back -back champs. Uh, tattooed on yourself. Uh, you're such a big Seahawks fan, which we can't understand exactly because we're Bears fans. But uh, uh, we'll, right. we'll never have tattoos, OC. If you no. know, we're <laughs> where will you be watching the Super Bowl? Uh, I'm actually going to be going over to a buddy of mine's house. Um, he's got a big TV and everything, and um, you know that's fine. But how many tattoos be... does he have of the Seahawks? <laughs> He doesn't have any tattoos. Oh, uh, right. You, I want uh, you to go over there he, and choke him out until he learns to be a fan. 
<laughs> yeah, he he's actually a Raiders fan. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you got to feel sorry <laughs> for him. All right, let's back up. OC, you uh, you when when the Seahawks won last year, you went and got mm-hmm. a Seahawks tattoo. Uh, no, uh, I actually had the logo tattoo uh, probably about ten years ago. Okay, um, I had gotten it before they went to their first Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and then this year. Uh, I had gone on a trip to uh, Nevada, and I, I told one of my, a few of my friends, I said, you know, if the Seahawks can beat Arizona, and I want to see how they play it against Arizona, I, you know, I told a few of my friends that I was going to get an addition to my tattoo. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, it was it was tough going down the stretch. I mean, some of the other teams in the NFC uh, West were, were kind of uh, spiraling downhill, but, you know, the Seahawks basically had to win those games to – to keep up with everybody because uh, even though Arizona lost the quarterback, they did win a couple games there. But that, back there at the end. But back in December, it was Christmas, you went and got this tattoo that said back-to-back champions. And not just the words. You got the Lombardi trophies, the Roman numerals, the whole thing in, in it, around Christmas time. Yeah, it was uh, December 24th, Christmas Eve, and uh, I called a few places around town and um, – and a couple of people, uh, you know, told me to come over there. Uh, a couple of places were closed. And I kind of drove around the area, and uh, I found a place, and I just walked in there. I didn't have an appointment or anything. Um, and the uh, artist that was there, she didn't have anything going on either, so uh, she went ahead and uh, told me she'd take me. Uh huh. And d- did you get a hard time from any of your friends? And the obvious question, what are you going to do if they don't win? <laughs> Well, uh, just like in my news articles, uh, the the news report showed. I, I said I don't I don't want to think about losing because losing is for losers. But okay, uh, maybe, maybe you guys, you hear that, Quad Cities? Losing is for losers. That's right from the mouth of OC. Losing <laughs> yeah, is for maybe, losers. Yeah, maybe I'll have to drive down to Tijuana, Mexico, or something, and <laughs> hang out with uh, my cousin Vinny and Jorge. Yeah, right. Now, what? Uh, now you've been a, a Seahawks fan for a long time. You live in Jacksonville, so clearly you uh, you didn't grow up there. Um, you you must have spent some time in or around Seattle, or became a fan somehow. How did that happen? Yeah, I'm I'm originally from Seattle. Okay. I I lived there for uh, you know up until I was about 21, 22, and then I. You know, I kind of got tired of the rain and everything. Wanted to try something different, right. and uh, I, you know, went ahead and went over to uh, Jacksonville. You know, via I actually lived in Indiana for about a year, so I I did watch some of the Bears games then as well. Okay, so uh, you've got a lot of friends back in Seattle. You go ahead and do this at Christmas time. You know, I can't even talk about uh, Robbie Gould missing a field goal. Because my friends freak out that I'm jinxing the team or the field goal try the next time it happens. How do you explain to your buddies, yeah, man, without them saying you just jinxed us? Yeah, well, you know, I've I've kind of, I've kind of done some shameless things in the past, I guess. <laughs> and uh, oh, really? So I guess my friends and family are used to uh, some of the things that I've done in the past. Like but, uh, what else? I kind of want I, I kind of wanted to change my image and kind of do something. Uh, smart for once if we <laughs> but, uh, if, I mean, if we nothing i say or do is going to have any effect on the game so. if we were to rip off your your shirt your sleeves whatever do you just have back-to-back champs of every nfl team tattooed all over <laughs> you is that are you covered <laughs> uh, uh yeah well i don't i don't want to show you my tramp stamp <laughs> i appreciate that let's keep uh, it friendly okay well i th- i i think you're right i think the seahawks are going to win um but Who do you guys think is going to win? I, I do. I think the Seahawks are going to win. I, to, to me, OC, it's a shame that both teams can't lose. I hate them both so much. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. I, I want the Seahawks to win only because I want the Patriots to lose and be embarrassed. Thanks. Yeah. The, the, to, to have the – and your prediction was – you made a very bold prediction. Oh, yeah. 23 to nothing, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, they just have a top defense. <laughs> they have a top defense, yeah. and uh, you know, if I'm going to go with the tattoo, I might as well make the bold prediction too. Why not? What the hell? You could see the pictures of uh, OC's back-to-back championship tattoo. He was the first. He's the first. Mm-hmm. Uh, the pictures are up at twodorks.com. The NFL picked up on this story, and what they're going to run it during the pregame of the Super Bowl? 
Oh, I, I don't know. They just asked me if, uh, you know, they could use my image and everything, and I told them they could put it on Twitter and uh, on their Facebook page and everything. I, <laughs> you know, I gave them permission to do whatever they wanted to uh, has with an, it. Has anybody from the Seahawks organization contacted you? Uh, no. Um, that, you know, they've been busy with everything, getting ready for the game and stuff like that, and they have a lot of obligations, obviously. But uh, the Seattle PI did an article, you know, about it, and uh, – the, the TV stations wanted to do something a couple weeks ago with me, but they wanted to do a Skype interview, and um, I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to put together a piece uh, similar to mm. what I did with the Jacksonville station. Okay. Uh-huh. And you you got to remind us, too, about the preparations and stuff that the team's going through. Remember, as Bears fans, we're not really – uh, we're not familiar with this kind of uh, preparation that takes place this late. They, in the they just show up and play, right? right. They don't do anything. Yeah. It's, it's like, the, what, what, when do they get down there? About Saturday night, yeah, early right. Sunday morning? Uh-huh. Right. I think. <laughs> well, I heard the 85 Bears were pretty good. They were a long time ago. We've been hanging our hats on that for a long time. So <laughs> so who do you pick as the uh, as the MVP, and when is that tattoo going up? Well, I'm not getting an MVP uh, tattoo for that, but uh, no guts. I mean, a lot of people are picking Lynch and everything, but uh, I actually think it's going to be Russell Wilson because uh, you know he, he, you know, he's the one that I feel like wills the team to win. Yeah. Uh, you know, at the end and everything, and uh, I just think he's going to step it up and just kind of take it over. I think Marshawn's going to have about 100 yards, and uh, but I think Wilson's going to be the MVP. Um, there was a story, we were talking about this yesterday, a kid out in Seattle. Here, listen to this. Daniel, phone call. Hello? High school kid gets a phone call. He gets called to the principal's office. Yeah? Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! Is it really Bobby Wagner? I'm good! <laughs> oh, my God! I'm freaking out! <laughs> That's the kid who, uh, uh make a wish... Uh, was trying to hook him up with tickets to the Super Bowl. That was he's losing his eyesight, and uh, Bobby Wagner called him from the Seahawks to tell to tell him they were flying out to Arizona to go see the game. Did, had you heard about that? Yeah, I actually saw that. I saw that post on Facebook. That's a that's a great story. And isn't it true that you're also faking blindness <laughs> to try to get tickets? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've been, I've been accused of uh, being fake and everything else like that, but uh, it, no, I'm I'm perfectly uh, quote unquote normal. Uh-huh. And just to uh, answer the question, since you've been accused of being fake, this is not like a one of those dry transfer tattoos. This is a legitimate, real tattoo. It, yeah, it's a real tattoo. My uh, my my Raider friend buddy said that uh, if they lose, he's going to go over to Home Depot and get some sandpaper. Oh, <laughs> damn. Sand it off. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, OC, uh, who is uh, on the phone with us uh, from his, uh, his his truck stop on his route between Jacksonville and Atlanta, he's the guy who put the uh, back-to-back champs tattoo on his arm um, celebrating the Seahawks' second Super Bowl victory in, in as many years. Pretty gutsy. Um where were you when you were watching that uh, Packers game, and how scared did you get? Well, I was at my house, and uh, I, I'm a single dad, so I ha- I have my daughter every other weekend, and she was you know next next door playing with the neighbors and everything, and I was I was watching the game, and uh, it was just horrible. Um, with about five minutes left in the game, when Wilson threw his last interception, I actually tweeted, uh, "Game over" and sad face. Oh no. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was actually conceding the game and everything. And then uh, it's funny because my daughter came in. Um, she's nine years old. She came into the house to get a drink of water. It was about three minutes left. And, uh, you know, I was sitting on the edge of the seat. And and I was like, come on, come on. And she's like, uh, she's like, Daddy, this game doesn't mean anything. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> it means it, if something doesn't happen here in a hurry, it means Daddy's going to have to wear long sleeves for the rest of his life. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, I was, uh, I mean, I was jumping up and down, you yeah. know, with all the excitement, all those plays at the end. It was truly uh, amazing. Was, um, I've never seen anything like that in any other game before. Um, we've got a listener here in the Quad Cities who is a transplant from the East Coast, and he has been getting nonstop hell because of his love of the Patriots. And he just texted us, and he, OC, he loves you. And he says, it says Patriots. This guy has just sealed it for me. Woohoo! Go Patriots! So he's convinced. He's buying into the whole "you jinxed it for him" philosophy. 
Yeah, like I said, anything I do has nothing to do. I mean, the players aren't going to be in the huddle and be like, oh, uh, you know, OC got that tattoo, you know. you know. No, no, no. OC, you got to uh, change we're it. screw up because of that. They don't, you know, that doesn't have anything to do with that. No, no, no. <laughs> because when they win, people are going to pull out this tape and then play it back. You have to be saying, I knew it all along. They did it for me. I willed them to victory. I never had a moment of doubt. <laughs> that's, that's the angle you got to take. So uh, no, I mean, actually I'm not going to take that angle. Okay, I, you know I'm not going to brag about it or anything like that until know. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until after the game. No, um, no, I'm not like that. I mean, I'm uh, I'm just a fan, just like anybody else. If I was living in Boston, I'd probably be a Patriots fan. You know? Are you uh, Are you taking Monday off? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of the biggest sick days in the U.S. I'm not going to know my name, boys, come Monday. (laughs) You know what's funny about that is uh, last year I was working for a different company, and I was on a route on on Friday night, and um, I was supposed to go to work Monday at 5 in the morning, and there was a letter in my pouch saying, um, OC, we switched routes with you. You're going on a layover route, and you got to leave Jacksonville at 5.30 p.m. And this was, you know, it was the Seahawks Super Bowl last year, and and I just about <laughs> had a heart attack. I, you know, I had to explain to him about you know my passion for the team and everything, and it wouldn't be you know safe for me to be driving you know with you know during the game and everything like that. Uh-huh. And uh, so I told him he's. I said you better find another person to run that route. Cause it's just not safe for me to be driving. <laughs> and they did. They rescheduled it. Yeah, they rescheduled. It. I ended up. Uh, they switched me with somebody else. Uh, now, when you said they switched you, does that mean that that's a fancy way of saying they fired you for not right. following orders? <laughs> no, no they, they didn't fire me. Okay, so um, you did get the, 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 somebody. The funny other thing is that my other manager is a 49er fan, and uh, I told him, I said, you know, I'm going to make sure next year when the Seahawks go to the Super Bowl that I'm going to uh, make sure I have that Monday off. All right. Well, I tell you what, one way or the other, we should follow up with you on Monday. I know you don't like to make commitments for for the day after the Super Bowl, but I'd like to check in with you. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, uh, hopefully right. they'll go ahead and pull it off, and maybe I'll have a press conference in Jacksonville or something. All right. And and will <laughs> you say, you, I'm only here so I don't get fined? That'll be your answer. <laughs> no, I like, to, I like to do my own quotes. I don't like to copy people. Attaboy. All Sounds right. like it. <laughs> Thanks for chatting with us, man. Good luck. Hey, thanks for having me on. Though. All right. Appreciate it. Okay, hold on and uh, give your info to Goose so we can follow up on Monday, okay? Hang on one second. All right. All right. So, hey, uh, Hang on. Uh, can you go ahead and give my uh... – Yeah, hold on, hold on. Goose will take care of all of that. Uh, okay, that's OC. If you want to see the uh, uh, the tattoos. Boy, I forgot about that. The uh, th- That Green Bay game. Yeah. I, mean, I would have been suicidal. Uh, it's, and and like it's he not said, a small tattoo. This is yeah. huge. And like he said, he's never seen that happen in a game before. And it, it is. It's very rare that that all those th- stars fall into line at the exact same time. Yep. By the way, regarding Mike's email about how OC has sealed it for the Packers, I got a text from a uh, – for the Patriots. I got a text from a Patriots fan. Tell Mike to shut up about the Patriots. He's going to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say anything about the Super Bowl at all this week. No matter what happens on the field, you will now be able to point your finger at somebody Something. associated with this show yep. as the reason for ruining the outcome. And I would love to see a couple of years down the line when uh, ESPN does a does a thirty on thirty uh, show about this about the Seahawks and their road to the uh, to the repeat. Like they are in the huddle and they are saying, "Come on, you guys, we're down. We got to get this in because of that guy who's got the tattoo." Oh, I forgot about that. Let's go. Everybody go long. Here we go. Everybody goes long.
Mom's tattoo? Can I get your autograph? Where? Right here. Okay, here's the reenactment of the touchdown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Uh, that's all right. Unbelievable. Angel, show me your picture. You ain't lying. Angel, you kind of burnt all your teas in here. Kind of like the same socks are going to do the Packers. Get in there, yeah! Hey, I just met a 49ers fan. What's your name? My name's Jeff. Hope he doesn't mess up my car. You know, I just heard that one of the guys left One Direction. <laughs> okay, I'm here with Whitney, the bartender. Uh, I saw O.C. at our last club, and he was awesome. Hey, Facebook friends. <laughs> There's Roy. Welcome to Fear Factor Golden Corral style. Thanks. No, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> I miss you all. Hey. Come see Robin at Chili's and Westward. She'll take care of you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I just, just met OC. He's welcome, welcome to Chili's in Boston <laughs> anytime. I'm out here shooting hoops and look what I see. A Kentucky ball in the garbage. I heard it was your birthday. What are you going to give me? We're going to sing you a song. All right, I want to hear Can't Touch This. I'm gonna show these people my tattoo. Hey, how do you like my tattoo? Awesome! I saw OC tonight and he was awesome. Well, thank you. <laughs> Go to the hourglass. Hey, you wanna see what I was up to 15 years ago? <laughs> Come on, guys, don't let the guy with the sign beat you. Come on. Hi, I'm Chelsea. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Well, I got progressive because Flo is hot. Here's Angel playing in the sand. Hey, Angel, what color is that sand? Excuse me, oh. uh, Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. Can I get one of y'all to take our picture for? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Get everything out right now? Look, I said no lemon. lemon. <laughs> okay, we're two hours out of CC and Subway. Here's Neapolitan, red, black, and white, right there. Now seen Met Life Stadium, home of Super Bowl 48 champion Seahawks. Here's OC with your NFL Insider News. We finally find out what the Patriots do in the offseason. Angel, show your tooth. Mm -mm. Let me see your tooth. Mm -mm. Hey, dude, I really like your tattoo. Is that sarcasm? No, I really do like it. My name's Jeff. I'm a Niners fan, and I just met the Seahawk tattoo guy, and he's cool as crap. Yeah! <laughs> Me even before I was born. Old self, what do you think of that pass at the end of the Super Bowl? Okay. Okay. Chicken winner. Chicken winner. Okay. Super Bowl 50 and 51 champions. I guarantee it. <laughs> Oh my 
task. Sherman Williams. When are the Seahawks gonna win back to back? Go Seahawks! Go Seahawks! Go Seahawks! Go! He has won three Super Bowl six if you include the losses. One of the losses Sunday. I wish that I could be like the cool adults. I wish that I could. Start of the fourth quarter at Seahawks 24-14. Let's do this. Let's finish it off. Every kiss begins with K. Hey, do you want to kiss me? No. <laughs> Here we go. Three points. 17-14. Seahawks. Trying to make some extra money. Hey, uh, I'm trying to make extra money. Can I do anything for you? <laughs> Hey, I just finished at the Comedy Zone. Did you guys want to hear my interview from the radio? No! No! Would you guys stop fighting? I'm trying to watch Family Feud! Hey, Patriot fans. This is the guy with the Seahawks tattoo. Are you guys enjoying all your snow up there? Looks like somebody's worn out. You look like you're rolled up in a ball. Rough. At least I'm not deflated. If I was a duck and I was a comedian duck, then I'd quack you guys up. Hey, I just found the official football for the AFC Championship game. Anybody want to buy it for $20,000? Yeah, 911. Oh, what's my emergency? I forgot the number to 911. Okay, another instant replay. Yeah! <laughs> One thing I'm going to do differently in 2015. So I'm gonna stay away from the hashtag and go more with the pound symbol. Once I get fine famous, I'm gonna rule the world. Actually, I just want Taylor Swift to meet me. Let's go Seahawks, let's go! Let's, let's go Seahawks, let's go! Holy time. <laughs> time for a punt. The guarantee is on. Seahawks, Super Bowl champions. Ever since my turn, turn my hat around, the Seahawks are kicking butt. Thank you, Seahawks! New front will come forward, 70. Sure, flight to victory. That is a seatbelt. Probably like this. Come on, guys, come on, guys, 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 about a week ago, week ago, about a Oh my god, I see Marshawn. Look, it's Marshawn. I'm What's up, Marshawn? I'm all about an action boss. <laughs> oh my god, you scared the crap out of me. Dick. Yeah, second half started. Time to go over the top. Okay, we're going into the locker room to get our Super Bowl gear. Looks like we found the clearance rack right here. My girlfriend is so stupid, she thinks airplanes use Red Bull as fuel. Because they give you wings. Everybody's trying to avoid me. Burger Slammers? Angel, what do you want for Christmas? You know, I hate those vines where people talk to each other in the car. I mean, to themselves. They're so fake. There were six seconds, they know. Okay, here we go. Score! One, two, three. Hey, I think the Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl, actually. You're being stupid. If I was Tommy, I'd sleep on a marshmallow. That was weird. Not as weird as that guy. Go! Seahawks! Go! Seahawks! Go! Let's Come on, defense. Go. Third and one. Let's do this. Stop him right here. Yeah! You're the pump. You up. Uh... Yeah. Oh, Dad. And I will always love you. I hide behind this camera. This is not the real me. This is the real me. I'm feeling creative. I think I'm going to write my first book. The real reason girls go to the restroom in twos. I don't really answer preschool questions, so you improve your line of questioning and then we'll, we'll talk. What?
Hey, are you Queen Latifah? <laughs> You're A-OK -okay in my book. Thank you. <laughs> well, I just drank this Red Bull. I will remember you. Not me. I'm not desperate, but if you know any single ladies age 18 to 99, tell them about me. That hurt, man. The Seahawks got to score a touchdown to finish it out. Let's do this, guys. Well, we're out here fishing and I haven't caught anything. Since I jinxed the Seahawks in the Super Bowl, I think I'm jinxing us, too. Okay, do your milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard? All right. Yeah, officer, I know you need my license and registration, but I'm just not in the mood to give it to you. Sorry. Angel, if I were to put some of this cheese on my head, how would I look? Here comes a Russell play action run right now. Okay, come on. Uh, OC, it's going back like... Hey, I'm OC, the guy with the Seahawks tattoo. Here's Rob in my server, if y'all met her. <laughs> Perry's ratings for the Hat Super Bowl halftime show beat Bruno Mars' performance last year. I don't know whether you're aware of that. So who's better? Who's better? Who's better? Bruno. No, that's... Yeah, I like Bruno. I like him a lot. I thought this year's was uh, very good, too. Uh, I was looking for Cheryl Crow's My Favorite Mistake because I wanted to play it for O.C., who's uh, on the phone with us. He's a Florida truck driver. Uh, he is from Washington, and he is... Probably, I'm going to say, based on what he's done, the Seahawks' biggest fan. Oh, yeah. Listen to this. We thought it was, uh, you know, just before the Super Bowl, but it turns out OC got back-to-back -back Super Bowl champion tattoo from his shoulder to his elbow on Christmas Eve. Now, I, I, I you know, I mean, I, I like football. I don't follow it a lot, but, I mean, was what were they even in contention to be in the playoffs, the Super Bowl, I, I, it seems really early to me. Uh, that's correct. Yeah, when when actually I got a tattoo, um, they hadn't even uh, made the playoffs yet. Wow, that's even that even goes to show you what a bigger Seahawks fan uh, that is. Now, was drinking involved at all in this decision? <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I have uh, been known to consumed some adult beverages in the past but, uh, <laughs> but not I not on this occasion okay well I, I like hearing that so why I mean this is kind of a permanent mistake yeah well I mean I wanted to show the Seahawks uh, that I had passion for the team and you know I was confident that they were gonna win the Super Bowl and you know it all went down to one play I mean I was pretty close wow it was unbelievable uh, and it begs me to ask the question uh, who made the bigger mistake you or Pete Carroll <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I can't question Coach Carroll. I mean, he's a much smarter man than I am. Yeah. So um, I know how the truck drivers are. You guys are, I mean, you know, there's a pretty, it's a pretty macho-ish club. Um, what do your other truck driver friends say about this tattoo? What kind of a hard time you've been uh, given? Well, they're just laughing at me like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> what other attention have you received as uh, as far as this goes? I know this has uh, kind of gone across the country. and Yeah, I mean, I've been on a few radio shows and stuff like that. But, uh, I mean, I didn't really do it for the attention. I just, uh, you know, if I wanted to get attention, I'd probably go out with one of the Kardashians or something <laughs> like that. <but. laughs> uh, so, and... OC, is this your first tattoo? Uh, no, um, I actually have another tattoo on my other arm. Uh, I'm I'm a gambler, so <laughs> I have a tattoo of a skull and some gambling uh, stuff like a slot machine, a roulette wheel. And, Got uh, it. Okay, so uh, did like you that. gamble on this game? Uh, no, uh, I'm actually not a sports better, believe it or not. <laughs> okay. Well, you're a single guy. You're uh, the father of a nine-year-old daughter. Has has she ribbed you about the tattoo? 
Yeah, she actually told me uh, when I talked to her on Monday, she said uh, she kind of felt bad for me. She said, uh, Daddy, I wish you were a Patriot fan today <laughs> because she, 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 she wishes that I would gotten the Patriot Super Bowl tattoo. Oh, that's funny. How, and, uh, how adorable. Now, what would you think about her uh, getting a tattoo in the future? <laughs> Uh, well, as long as she's 18, you know, she can do whatever she wants. I oh, mean, I right. got my first tattoo when I was 18, and uh, when I got it, I actually got the bad boy symbol. Well, and the first th there you the go. first thing I did the first thing I did was go home and uh, flex to my parents and say, "Hey, look what I got." <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, and how was that? My son did the same thing, and I, I, I about well, I about it was like, ah. Uh, I actually, yeah. my father uh, had a tattoo, and uh, it was uh, 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 a drunk run from, he was in the Navy, from San Diego to Ensenada, Mexico. Got a tattoo of a uh, Navy insignia on his wrist. And I remember that before there were laser tattoo removal, he literally went and had a skin graft to get it off. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, it was like, that, he, sounds painful. <laughs> that was a guy who regretted his tattoo. Any, <laughs> any regrets on this one at all? I, I don't, man. I mean, I, I'm a fun guy and, you know, I like to take risks and everything like that. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to have fun with it. I mean, there's more to life than uh, just the, the game and the Super Bowl. I mean, my daughter is my number one priority in my life. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to have fun with it and roll with it and see what happens. Well, OC, thanks so much for taking the time and uh, talking with us. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a funny story, and there you are. And I got to hand it to you, you know, even before the Seahawks had made the playoffs, he had this tattoo. Thanks so much for talking to us this morning, and um, go Seahawks next year. Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me on. All right, have a good day. Okay. All right, you too, buddy. Okay, so uh, there you go, Rosie. He sounds normal. Yeah, he is normal. And no drinking was involved. That's kind of hard to believe, and but okay. I, I, we've posted the Christmas picture Eve. up on our Facebook page, and that's at KOST 103.5. And maybe if you're like a tattoo artist or you know somebody that's into it, you know, is there something you could cover that up with, do something with, make it something else? I don't know, because that's what they do, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Just ask, uh, oh, I don't know, Johnny Depp. Yeah, so they Angelina changed the Jolie. Group. Angelina Jolie. You have to change the names there. Okay, so Rosie, what's happening on our freeways from the Helpful Soap? Okay, there's Angel on my shoulder. And then those other girls walking away from us. Okay, we're walking in Key West. Just met some cool girls. Chantel and Claire from Singapore. Hey. I hope this milkshake doesn't bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> Here comes OC! Welcome to Moe's! What if they worked in a library? Welcome, Welcome to the library. library! One, two, three. Go Pats! I met the guy with the Seahawks tattoo. <laughs> Here comes OC! Welcome to Moe's! What if they worked in a library? Welcome to the library! One, two, three. Go Pats! I met the guy with the Seahawks tattoo. <laughs> we met the Seahawks guy and his tattoo sucks! Go Pats! Go Green Bay! What's up? That's right. <laughs> I just found out my girlfriend was pregnant and it's not my baby. Angel, your ship is about to come in. I got asked to be on Saturday Night Live, but I told him no, because I don't like to work weekends. I'm always most improved every time I do something, because usually at the beginning I always suck at it. This is OC and I'm in my truck. Check out my cool Seahawks tattoo. Oh my god, I'm a huge Seahawks fan, look what I found. You guys are my favorite customers so far today. How many have you had? None. One of the things that we know about life 
is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go real well, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes you're happy, and sometimes you're sad. Now that's that thing called life. And when we begin to understand and know that, accepting that reality that, that we will never ever have things just on an even keel all the time, that you're going to have some ups and you're going to have some downs. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. See, anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid. Anybody can be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. See, but the real challenge, the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you've been defeated, it takes courage to start over again. The power to hold on in spite of everything, the power to endure, this is the winner's quality. And this is an opportunity for you to grow. And you've got to be so relentless, regardless of what comes down the pipe, that you're always looking for a way to get over, always looking for a way that you can break through, always looking for a way that you can win, always looking for a way that you can strike a telling blow. Decide that you're going to push yourself. Most people won't do that. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing that's powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. You've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm coming back, and I'll be stronger and better because of it. We met the Seahawks guy. A local Seahawks fan now has a different take on his permanent reminder of a Super Bowl that his team did not win, but he tells us tonight he's taking it in stride. The Orange Park man who goes by the name O.C. got a tattoo of the Seahawks logo with a Super Bowl 49 trophy well before kickoff. When we first spoke to him, he expressed complete confidence his team would win. Well, since they lost, we checked with him to see if he has any regrets. I mean, I got the tattoo for fun. I mean, I knew there was going to be consequences to uh, the tattoo. I knew that there was a chance they could lose. I mean, when there was five minutes left in the uh, Packer game, I conceded the game and I tweeted, hey, game over. Um, so, you know, there was a chance I was, I would have rather them obviously gone into one, you know, but, uh, you know, I'm a grown man and I got to face the music and I'm just going to try to have as much fun with it as I can.